What is going on everybody? Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Today, I'm going to share another beer with you. This is going to be, I believe, the last that I have right now in the Black is Beautiful series. It comes to me from my homeboy Todd, so thanks for getting it in my way. It was done with Fall City Beer and also Monic Beer Company, and of course, in conjunction with Weather Souls. But it is an Imperial Stout that comes in at 9.5%. And looking forward to seeing what they came up with down here. Now, the breweries are actually down around the Louisville area. Let's go ahead and get this baby cracked open and see how this all comes together. And uh, who knows, this might be the last one for a while, or maybe some other breweries will come out with some other ones, and uh, I'll share those if I get those too. But this has been a nice little series to go through. Most of them, I would say, have been pretty solid. There were maybe uh, one or two that weren't really there. No, there was definitely at least one, but you know, we'll see, it is what it is. You have to appreciate the effort, I guess you could say at the least. So um, we'll go from there and we'll go ahead and set it up with the cam, can, you know what I'm saying here? So let me go ahead and get that dropped in there as well. So that way if people come in, they can check out that can there too. But dark stout, you got the tan head, you got a little bit of bubble action in there. It does seem to be dissolving a little quick. Uh, it's about a finger now. When I poured it out, it's closer to one and a half or two. So we'll see if it does lace the glass any as it goes down. Aroma wise, I'm getting notes of uh, chocolate. A little bit of that coffee that you're used to getting off a of stout. I'm getting a little bit of a roastiness in there as well. It kind of has a feel to me of kind of like something along the lines of a dry outer stout in that regard. But it smells decent enough. I'm not getting anything off the notes like anything like the pastry type stouts that you commonly can get where you have the dessert feel. This seems like it's going to be a just a decent old school imperial stout so to speak. Taste wise. Well, in the mouth, you definitely can tell it is definitely that stout that is kind of your kind of your uh, no frills kind of throwback type feels. Not one of the fancier ones they're trying to put out today, which is not a bad thing because you sometimes you want to have a nice classic feel of a stout, and that's where this one actually falls into. It's got a little bit of thinness to it, so at the nine and a half percent ABV, it's thinner than I would usually like to have at that level. You're not getting too much of a booziness to that first taste. I am picking up nice chocolate and coffee notes in the mouth as I'm speaking here. Those are also coming through with the uh, flavor. Um, as far as the thinness, it's not fully to where you kind of have that watery type feel, but you do definitely feel that thinness there. Slight prickling there on the tip of the tongue. Body-wise, it feels more to like a medium-type body, so not overly heavy. Which, if you had a four-pack of these at nine and a half, could sneak up on you. So, definitely have to know your tolerance level there. It leaves a little bit of flavor on the back of the lips. It doesn't really have a drying out effect, so you're able to basically sit here, converse, do what you're doing, and the notes are kicking around. The more I'm talking, I'm getting that flavor in the background as well. So it's not a rush for me to have to jump in and grab another sip. It has a quality to it that allows it to be nicely paired with a cigar as well for this type of stout style. Um, it's not, like I said, but it doesn't have as much other things behind it. It doesn't have that thickness. It doesn't have some of that heavier weight, which again, I'm okay with because Sometimes those other ones can get too heavy, they can get too sweet. This is easily one that you can easily finish the can of 16 ounce out on, where sometimes you get a stout like this in a pint can. If it's too thick or too rich, you wanna find someone to share it with. So this is one that you can knock out rather easily. There's not much flavor sinking into the cheeks or anything along those lines. It's got a little bit of a mouthfeel where you have the flavors, but it's not really mouth coating experience compared to some of the other ones. It's a it's a decent stout. You know, it's um, one, again, that there's no frills. There's nothing on it to make it really stand out as far as some of the things we're accustomed to now. But at the same point, I don't feel like I'm losing as much. I feel like it's still a nice quality beer that you can sit back and enjoy. 
And if you said you just wanted a stout without the frills, this is a nice uh, kind of style, kind of kind of beer for that. So no complaints on my end with it as much. Um, again, it's just, uh, you know, I've been kind of spoiled with some of the other ones I've seen some of the other breweries do. And I would definitely say this is probably, I think I've had a total around 10 or so. I think this is probably down around two or three from the bottom up. So it's just, you know, it's, it's hard when you're putting them up against like things like the other ones I've had from the other breweries where this one just doesn't jump out as much, but that's okay. A great experience, a great cause. I'm glad they contributed and came out with the beer. A nice one from um, Fall City and also from Monic that came together on this. Again, this is the Black, and Be Black is Beautiful Imperial Stout. Again, 9.5% ABV and you're not really feeling the alcohol. So on that end, no complaints for sure. If you've had this one, let me know what you thought of it by leaving a comment in the comment section. Always love to hear your guys' feedback. And anything you want me to take a look at, always feel free to leave a comment so I can also check those out. Thanks for checking out this video. I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.